Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and I've come to this beach. We like to call this refinery beach because there's an oil refinery right over there. And Sadly, the whole area is pretty polluted. Uh, the birds still come here, and the odd dog, as you can see. Oh, there's a, there's a dog running there. I don't know if you can see him. Um, but <laughs> maybe he'll come over and say hi to me. <laughs> oh, he's, his owner's over there. So maybe not, but uh, anyways, we like to come to this beach and the kids will just play in the sand there. I don't know if I can get there, they are. Oh. They're playing in the sand and uh, we come and look for shells and bones and you know interesting rocks and stuff. But uh, it is the last week before school starts and then there'll be some, some more free time uh, in the mornings into the afternoon for my wife and I to do whatever we need to do, come places like this and relax. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, it's really not Blender related, but I'm probably going to get back to doing a bit more music. I hope to be doing that. we got our music studio upstairs and got some nice equipment and maybe some of you know I used to sing. And then pretty much when my daughter Lily was born uh, just over seven years ago, I, I, I pretty much switched to Blender at that point and uh, you know, only did music a little bit. And then my son Harry was born. And, uh, you know, we moved out to New Brunswick from Ontario, Canada. And, uh, you know, I got the dogs. I had three for a while. Now I'm down to two. So it's, it's been busy. And I've talked about that a little bit in my, in my videos. But uh, I do plan to do some more music. And really, my channel has Blender and music and a little bit of teaching stuff. And so I hope I don't confuse you, those of you that have subscribed for the Blender stuff and get notifications if, if once in a while you might get something about music. Although, on the other hand, I do have a, a dedicated music channel that I have not put much effort into it. I think I have 57 subscribers. Um, but if you're interested in, in the music and the singing, it's, you know, you know how old I am. And you know it's the older kind of music, a little bit of jazz and, you know, folk and stuff from the, I don't know, 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe a little bit from the 80s. That's about where the cutoff is for me with respect to music anyhow. Um, so... I hope to be to get back to that, but that certainly will not uh, take the place of, of the Blender stuff. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in that, you might see some stuff pop up and maybe you come over to the other channel. I'll tell you about it sometime and invite you over there and give you the link if you can. Just search my name, Elliot Kimmel. You'd find it. It's uh, not an impressive music channel. Back before I was doing Blender, I, I did uh, somewhat better uh, in the music covers and original stuff uh, here on this on this channel and uh, you know I started that in probably about 2008 I think I first came to YouTube and it was with music and uh, up to about uh, 2017 uh, when my daughter was born and then I switched over to the blender stuff so uh, music of course was my first love but um, you know having kids and making it dip more difficult to do the music I I latched onto the blender and I, I just I love that stuff and so that's that's what I'm going to keep doing. But we'll do a bit of music on the side as well, try to keep it a little bit balanced. And I know there are a few people that are older, maybe my age or older, that were going, where's the music? They're not really into the, the modeling. Uh, and so they're, you know, kind of encouraging me to go back and do some singing. And I would like to do that as well. So, yeah, there's that coming up. Also, I'm going to be completing the corridor scene in the next couple of videos, I hope. And uh, then moving on to a couple of maybe smaller projects. And then eventually let's do another Blender challenge and invite everyone to, to work on the, uh, a similar kind of theme uh, on the Zero Bio Discord. So that's all I really have for you today. There's nothing overly exciting to announce, but it is, uh, it's a nice day today. And I'm looking forward to getting back to doing some more stuff for you. Um, there was some thought given. There was some talk and some thought given to advertising uh, or giving some credit at least to people that have donated to the channel. Uh, they've done that through the PayPal link on my channel. It's very much appreciated. Never a, a prerequisite for coming here or watching my videos or, or anything. But uh, I was thinking maybe I might include some names. I was thinking of first name and last initial if I could find again through PayPal everyone who has contributed. This, and, um, this is not tons, might be 
five or six people or whatever, but maybe I would give them some credit in uh, at the end of a video or at the beginning of a video or something. So um, hopefully that's a, an okay idea and it's not going to invade on anyone's privacy, uh, first name and, and last initial, something like that. Um, if you're interested in getting your name up in lights, uh, you're always welcome to uh, donate through that PayPal link, but um, I'm not going to hold my breath or anything like that. Uh, and uh, we'll see we'll see what we do. So I, I might be doing that soon, and I do want to say thank you very much for anyone who has done that. Uh, I really appreciate that, and really, uh, I'm not buying fancy toys. This is uh, to support my family so I can, you know, keep doing the blender stuff and know that my kids are fed and everything and i, I do my best uh, regardless of, of that anyhow so uh yeah thank you for that i have more things to say about the last of us and joel's death i know i'm bringing up old wounds and maybe it's solved for most people and people have moved on but i have some thoughts that i'd like to share i'm not sure why i, I don't intend to engage in a big conversation about it and maybe some of you don't even really want to hear about that but I have some some thoughts about the fact that they that they did that that torture scene in front of in front of Abby in front of sorry well Abby was doing it but in, in front of Ellie and in front of Tommy Joel's brother and you know given what we see on TV uh, looks like I'm talking about it a little bit but what we see on TV with the, the crime shows and the true crime uh, that's going on in this world and uh, the fact that I have children, um, I think it's, I know it's a game. I think it is completely irresponsible and incorrigible and almost unforgivable that they would make Ellie watch that. I think that's just very irresponsible um, considering the age group that this game is aimed at as well, whether it be, you know, I don't know, 18 and over or whatever, you got young people, you got older people and some of them are going to have families I think it was completely unnecessary that you would have to have Ellie watch that I mean the, the thought of my daughter watching me get tortured to death is just beyond me I think they could have handled it so much different I, I admit I'm not a writer and you know but I mean I really think they could have handled it different even the thought of of uh Ellie finding out, you know, we don't have to see Joel die, finding out that he's been killed and, you know, maybe someone presents her uh, with with his jacket or something of his and, you know, she could have a little tombstone or memorial and do all that stuff and then you could do the flashbacks. Sorry, I just got to move my hand in here. Um, all that. Let's move that. But the fact that you make her watch that, I think, just shows a level of of cruelty and um, lack of, of empathy and a lack, you're talking 2020, you know, we're not going back that far. Uh, you know, the state of the world and the pandemic and to, to still go ahead and do that, um, I think that video game creators uh, have free reign and it's free speech and whatever, and there's a lot of violence, but I still think there's some kind of societal responsibility, especially when you're de dealing with vulnerable people that, you know, younger people, you know, teenagers, young adults uh, that are going to be playing your game. Uh, they want to have fun and they want to blow shit up. I get that. Uh, often the people that you're blowing up are, you know, not people that you're really close to. They're aliens or they're the bad guys, whatever. And I think that most people want to see the good guys win. And I think that is a, you know, it's a strong uh, theme in, in war and in horror and in whatever genre to give hope to those people to survive and to, to beat the odds. And I know that good people die in war, in reality, in real life, and accidents happen and horrible things happen to good people. Um, and, and that's fine. I've seen plenty of movies. We've all seen them where, you know, uh, an astronaut movie or, or whatever, and, and, and the good guy dies. And it kind of shocks you in the end. And, and, you know, you can still watch it. But the fact that Ellie and Joel had such a lovely relationship and, and we were so emotionally attached to, to them, and perhaps Joel more than Ellie, at least for me, 
Joel was was the guy, and I understood Ellie's uh, role to whatever extent, <laughs> and, uh, and the importance of her, and and I liked her, but I liked Joel. Joel was strong. He was uh, straightforward. He did what he needed to do to survive. Uh, he did some bad things, but you know he also lost his daughter too in his arms. And she was murdered, and then you know. Uh, he forges this relationship with Ellie. Ellie looks up to him as a father figure. He's protecting her. And to do that in that way, I, I think it's an insult. I, I, I don't know. You know, look, smarter people than me have analyzed the game, but if you're going to be just very scientific about it and very empirical and whatever, you know, forgetting about the um, the relationship idea, and the emotion. I, I, now I'm just saying words. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm just, as you, as you can tell, I'm still pissed off. I'm not going back. I'm not playing it anymore. I'm not modeling anymore of that stuff too. Um, my son was playing Uncharted yesterday and uh, I was having a hard time appreciating it. Uh, I, I can't really forget. I will. I will. You know, it's just a game, right? It's just a game. But, you know, you know, the, the, the problem is, yeah, it's just a game, but, but people spend their hard-earned money and they become loyal to it. And, uh, you know, uh, you know it, it, it goes deeper than that. And, and these are, can be teachable moments, teachable games. And uh, I'm not sure what the hell they were trying to teach there. Just, I, I didn't like it anyways. Maybe more on that later. I'm not trying to rile anybody up, and I don't want to get into a big discussion about it. I don't know the game inside out, and you know, I, I came to it relatively late, and uh, I was just fascinated with the, the texturing at all, and and uh, I thought it was really well done, and I loved the first game. Wish it ended there. I would have been a lot happier about it. All right, take care.